Hello and welcome. I'm Maria Ressa. This is your 6 p.m. wrap. A new social weather station survey shows President Rodrigo Duterte's anti-illegal drugs campaign is popular among most Filipinos, but a majority think drug suspects should be left alive. The survey shows Duterte's drug war got an excellent net satisfaction rating with a score of plus 76. 71% of respondents said it is, quote, very important that drug suspects be arrested alive by police. The SWS survey also found that 83% or a majority of respondents don't think there's a class discrimination in the administration's anti-drugs campaign. The crackdown is being criticized for being anti-poor. Self-confessed hitman Edgar Matobato surrenders to the police in Camp Krame after a Davao court issued an arrest warrant against him for illegal possession of firearms. Matobato earlier accused President Rodrigo Duterte of ordering summary executions when he was Davao city mayor. He was accompanied by Senator Antonio Trillanes. PNP Chief Ronald De La Rosa assures Trillanes and the public Matobato would be safe under the custody of the police. We are very grateful for uh, Senator Trillanes for the confidence that he has given us as uh, our turnover si Edgar Batobato. And uh, in response, naman, we will do our best and uh, siguruhin namin talaga na safe yung uh, uh, witness na Turn over sa atin ni Senator Trillanes. And uh, I, have given him his, uh, I have given him my word na we will uh, put it uh, Edgar Potobato. Actress Rosanna Rosses denies she was the mistress of an alleged drug lord serving time in prison, but admits she brought prostitutes into the National State Penitentiary. During the House hearing on the proliferation of illegal drugs at the New Bilibid prison, witness Nonito Arile, an inmate, alleged that Rosses was a mistress of suspected drug lord Vicente C., commonly known as Enteng. On her Facebook page, Rosses, whose real name is Jennifer Adriano Cruz, denies the charge. She says, quote, How can I be a mistress when I brought women to Enteng? I got 25,000 pesos for each woman I bring, even if they get rejected. Rosses adds, quote, My business in Believe It is not drugs, but Monterey. I deliver meat. Arila is a former policeman convicted for kidnapping and murder. He was granted immunity from suit by congressman for anything he would say at the inquiry. The military and the police arrest three suspects in the bombing of a night market in Davao City last September. Defense Secretary Delphine Lorenzana on Friday confirms the three involved in the bombing are linked to the Abu Sayyaf. The bombing killed at least 15 people and injured more than 70. After the bombing, Duterte declared a state of national emergency on account of lawless violence in Mindanao. Follow Rappler.com for continuing updates. The 2016 Nobel Peace Prize is awarded to Colombian President Juan Manuel Santos for his efforts in helping end the decades-long Colombian Civil War. In the citation, the Nobel Committee says the award should also be seen as, quote, a tribute to the Colombian people. The announcement comes after the result of the referendum on the Colombian peace deal last Sunday, which Nobel observers said killed the chances of any of those involved in the Colombia peace deal from getting the prestigious award. The committee selected Santos despite the result of the referendum, saying, quote, the referendum was not a vote for or against peace, but a no for an agreement four years in the making. The chief executive of the classified advertising website Backpage is arrested on pimping charges for heading what prosecutors described as an online brothel. Carl Ferrer was taken into custody after charges the website was a portal for human sex trafficking. Backpage allows users to post advertisements for goods, job listings, and services, but California State's Attorney General Kamala Harris says the site hosts ads for escort services and generated millions of dollars from the illegal sex trade. Harris's office reveals a three-year investigation turned up evidence that many Backpage ads for prostitution services involved sex trafficking victims, some of them younger than 18 years old. That's your 6 p.m. wrap. I'm Maria Ressa. Join us again tomorrow for the day's top news. Remember, tomorrow begins today.